Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Dump. Today I want to talk a little bit about Radaris. Radaris, the people search. I'm going to do a little review on it. Now, I uh, work with some very high-ranking rat bastards, assistant tree lunkers, and uh, they're not very nice people, so I thought I'd do a background search on them. Now, they are within the USA, meaning it's really easy to get information about them. I mean... The USA has so much information on people in uh, the USA, uh, sorry, online. You can get so much information about anybody within USA, it's amazing. You don't even really have to pay for it, but if you choose to pay for it, you can get a little more information. So, in this situation, I got my iPhone, and uh, I use one of the apps. I prefer to, to pay for things through my iPhone, through apps on there, because I can uh, watch it a lot easier. And Apple backs me up. I trust Apple more than I trust like my credit card company, for example. A lot of these places uh, that you try to get information from, if you pay, they'll continue to withdraw. That doesn't happen uh, within with, within Apple. Apple won't let that happen. Credit card companies are a little bit different, but Apple got your back for that kind of stuff. So I decided to search them out on here and uh, pay directly from my Apple to get this information. And I got a lot of information. Uh, you get phone numbers, addresses, relatives, properties, foreclosures, uh, professional licenses, criminal records, emails, neighbors, associates, evictions, uh, judgments, and businesses. Just to show you, right all on there. So, interesting, you get phone numbers, old phone numbers, possibly even new ones, uh, addresses. Okay, so now we're almost getting into stalking stuff. Uh, I'm not really sure why I need to know where these guys lived 10 years ago. 10 years ago, oh, more than that. This is going back to 1994. Jeez. That's crazy. 1994. Okay. okay, now this is really iffy. Neighbors. Why do I care about the neighbors? The only reason I would care about the neighbors is if I was seriously stalking somebody. So, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Like, I get all kinds of information about neighbors. This must be like 50 neighbors. And then relatives, associates. Associates. Really? Like, this is the kind of thing a Scientologist would love if they're trying to ruin your life. <laughs> Seriously. If you're doing a background check on someone, I don't know why they need to do this. And then criminal record. So this gentleman has a criminal record. But it looks like it went through the VA, so he probably got off. Anyways, civil records, businesses, professional licenses, judgments, foreclosures, evictions, emails. And I got this right on my Radaris app. I believe it will update if any new information comes out, but we'll have to wait and see how that goes. Radaris. Yeah. I have to wait and see how that goes. So, I gotta say, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Was it worth the money? Now, they made me pay $24 Canadian to get information on two people. I would have rather split that in half and got information on one and have the ability to get another one. But it's really nice, convenient, easy. It's right here. And uh, <clears throat> I hope it'll update. I hope it'll give me more information because um, there are other sites that say that there are court records. Like this is just uh, judgments and criminal records, but no court proceedings. So unless someone's been convicted, they aren't going to show up on here. But I believe... Oh, sorry, no, civil records, yeah. But I, I strongly believe that there are other sites that will get information for you on things currently going through the courts. So even if you're not convicted, that will show up. Unfortunately, Radaris doesn't do that. But anyways, that's my review. Radaris uh, on the iPhone, that's what I used it on. And uh, not bad. I wish the price was a little bit cheaper, what can you do? Anyways, that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech Dump. Catch you later, folks.